How's it going everyone? My name is Hatman and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Last time we finished up the Mage's Guild and today we're going to be starting the main quest. Um, we're going to be starting the main quest but I did mention that I wanted to do something before that. We're going to be starting the Bl Dark Brotherhood quests which um, we have to kill a guy. Basically, we have to go to the Inn of Ill Omens and kill a guy named. Um, I can't remember his name. But we have to kill him. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is for the armor. We're actually not starting the quest. We have to kill a guy named. Uh, we need to kill a guy named Rufio. And to kill Rufio, we have to get a, we have a little blade called the Blade of Woe. And we have to go kill him, and then we're going to sleep right afterward so that we can talk to uh, Lucy and Lachance. So, um, we are starting the main quest today. That is what we are destined to do. Luckily, I actually got the, uh, <laughs> I had a location nearby that we could uh, quickly get to this uh, in with it's pretty convenient so now we got to be careful because I have been caught by this guard before but we're just gonna sneak down into the uh, lower area of this and we're gonna stab him in the face because he should be sleeping right about now no nope, not yet well I could probably just sneak up and stab him probably wouldn't notice okay no don't mind me don't mind me don't mind me okay the man named Rufio was dead the next time I sleep in a location you deem secure Lucy and Lachance will visit me once more and complete my entrance into the Dark Brotherhood so the deed is done how do I know this you will find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things for you are now part of the family. My life for the Brotherhood. Indeed. For the slaying of Rufio was the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution, your signature. Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group. And yeah, 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 okay. So we are now officially part of the Brotherhood, or the Dark Brotherhood. So I'm going to head to Shaden Hall, and I'm going to collect the couple of things that I've wanted. So I mentioned a while back um, of a couple of mods that I added that I didn't actually show off. Now, I actually have added a couple since then, but I haven't been able to figure out where to get them from. Uh, one of those mods being a face mask. Now I gotta be careful because I only have one lockpick left because I was tampering with, uh, I was doing uh, side quests and of course I knew that was gonna come in hand. I, I'm glad I quick saved there. Okay, so the face mask I was talking about is on the top level here. It actually looks like a uh, normal hood, but it's actually not. It doesn't actually have a, um, thing but that is what it initially looks like I think it I like how it looks so I'm going to be wearing it for the majority of the time with the Dark Brotherhood outfit just because I like the way it looks okay so really we're not gonna actually be starting the Dark Brotherhood like I mentioned before we're just gonna be um, getting the armor and then we're gonna finally start the main quest because Sanguine, my brother. Yeah, we're going to be starting the main quest, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to go have to take the Amulet of Kings to a guy named Joffrey. Greeting. Okay, yeah, I really don't care. She's really just saying, welcome to the Brotherhood. I hope you enjoy. Uh, you can get your um, first task from a guy who is a level below us. So this is what I initially wanted it for. I really like the design. Um, the other thing I added was it was supposed to be ninja armor. And I have, I know where the masks are, but I can't seem to find the um, 
Oh, I also got a ring. What does that do? I can... That's a... I got that during a side quest I was tampering with, so, okay. I was going to equip some different weapons. Uh, okay. So... Now that, now that I've got the armor that I initially wanted, I'll show it. I'll show. I'll show you what it actually does and why I decided it would be worth our time. Um, it gives me fortify sneak two, fortify marksman, blade, acrobatics, and illusion, and the actual armor itself fortifies it by eight. Everything else by eight. So I really, really like that. It's gonna increase my stealth a bit because we're gonna be doing a lot of stealth sections in a little bit. And I'd like to stay as hidden as humanly possible. Okay, so Shaden Hall. We are actually... I don't think it's this way. Okay, Amulet of Kings. Deliver the amulet. Okay, we need to head here. Wayne and Priory. I actually did go to once by accident when I was going to Coral. So, now that we're here, we can walk up and just deliver... I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. So, we're going to just do that. The first couple of missions in the main quest are actually kind of boring. But, um, they're fun nonetheless. We're going to be doing the main quest nonetheless because it's the second, uh, section of quests I've done the least. Okay. Hello. I'm Brother Joffrey. Can I help you? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. Give Joffrey the amulet. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Well, uh, it has nothing to do with the Dark Brotherhood armor I am wearing. I'll tell you that. So, let me explain. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Who can... how can Oblivion threaten us I'm not then? sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. So, how can I find his son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay. So, assistance... I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Okay, so basically we have to head. Welcome. Okay, so basically we have to head to Kvatch to um, find his son Martin, who, if you play this game, you would obviously know that he is in quite a bit of danger. So 
we need to head to Quebec. Actually, that uh, brings me to an interesting topic. Um, there's a mod that I found not too long ago that involves Kvatch. It's something that I've actually, I really wished they had originally put into the game. It is rebuilding Kvatch. It is a mod that I'm really tempted to put in, um, just so we have that extra city uh, sitting there for us to use. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use that mod just to, um, just to bring Kvatch to its former glory. Um, it doesn't actually activate until after we do the second quest in Kvatch, which is um, uh, t taking over. It's basically, I don't remember the name of the quest, but basically we have to um, take back the uh, castle of Kvatch. I don't, I think that's actually like the name of the quest. Anyway, we're going to head to Kvatch. Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. Run from what? God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside oh my. the walls. Gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare. Came right over the walls. My God! Blasting it's fire. It's Attack on Titan. Swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's gonna bolt. Bye. And we have to head up to the top of Kvatch. Episode so far has been very difficult for me to record. I've had my dogs barking, I've had people walking in and out of the house, which is causing the dogs to bark. It's starting to drive me insane. But we're going to continue nonetheless, I know. Uh, and I'm having a hard time keeping a conversation with myself because for some reason, today is just not the day. I was having such a positive outlook on this episode not too long ago. These three guards have somehow managed to keep this place intact and under it's been somehow they somehow been managing to keep it safe the game is really loud all of a sudden holy cow i'm not being overwhelmed by a game today so ow. okay usually they expect you to um Oh no, my sword's broken. Ah, nut. Welcome to the gates of the realm of oblivion. It's a place where everything is not okay. So, I actually haven't been in oblivion. I haven't been in a uh, oblivion gate since I added a bunch of those mods. So, I don't know if there's going to be anything new around here. For all I know, there could easily be a bunch of new, cool new stuff. This guy can come in handy. Um, hey, 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 hey. Thank the nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly thing. The others. It's all right. What's going on? Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. My good. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. He's dead. I'm getting up. Okay, fine, Captain. Uh, Mattias needs your help. The captain is all yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just head to. We're just gonna get this over with. This is gonna be a quick. This is gonna be quick. I just want to get through this. I've done this a million times before. I know where I'm going. I'm not in the mood to screw around. So there's gonna be a few new enemies around here that we haven't seen yet, and I am already out of magic in this staff. That's awesome. Uh. And I don't know if I have anything of use. You know what? Screw it. I'm sick of having an empty weapon. So I'm going to just take advantage of the one item I have that um, increases the amount of magic in all of my items. So, yeah, you can probably tell by now I'm struggling to uh, talk during this episode. Really, it's not going to be fun until we get to stuff I don't remember unfortunately 
So it's going to be a little bit. Usually there's a trap here. Usually a bunch of rocks just start falling down. Or is it over here? It's over here. For some reason I've gotten them to uh, slide down once. And then they never do it again. I'm sorry. I really like this armor. It looks good. I like the little hood that I have on. Gotta watch out for those things. Um... So, there's this stuff called blood grass around here that is a very useful um, alchemist ingredient that I'm going to be trying to collect whenever I get the chance because it's really useful for um, some potions. I think it's like one of the only ones you can use to create like actual like damaging poisons. I don't really remember. These can come in handy too. You just got to be really careful because they will spit out a really deadly toxin. Like they're doing right now. Blood grass is also kind of hard to get because uh, usually the plants will not actually drop it. Luckily, I'm getting I'm getting kind of lucky with it. Oh, don't waste it, damn it! Okay, our first Daedra. He's got a Daedric bow, which I kind of want. Hopefully, awesome. We can take it, but I'm now over encumbered. So we're probably going to get ambushed by something in here. Yeah, this, um, this, uh, stealth armor, this, uh, really helps out because it does increase your, okay, your, uh, stop hitting me. I'm going to die if I don't heal real quick. Uh, we're okay. I'm doing fine. I'm not going to die here. Okay, come on. There we go. Here we go. Okay, so we need to get to the top of this tower, and it shouldn't take too long. That is if we don't keep running into these things, which do take a lot of damage and do a lot of damage. I'm not dying today, so I'm going to be quick saving quite often, because it is kind of easy to die in here. Okay, is that the wizard's... Is that the wizard, uh, one? Yeah, wizard's fury. Okay. Come at me, brother. Come on, brother. There we go. I'm gonna take your heart because it is a great, uh, it is a great ingredient for things to come. Okay, these guys have to take a take a lot of damage. I love it when I um, accidentally uh, waste a bolt of lightning. That's right, we have to go all the way over here to get the stupid key off of a Daedra who is chilling at the top of this tower. Oh man, my like energy cage. levels. Over here. My energy levels have suddenly dropped in. Um, my energy, uh, energy levels have dropped immensely all of a sudden. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Sigil keep key. I'm gonna leave you there because there's no way to get you out. Uh, he really just tells us useless information that we don't really need to do anything. Alright, so now that we got the key, we're gonna head this way. We have to head up. If you're head, if you're not heading up, the chances are you're going the wrong way, because every Oblivion Gate is closed at the top of these giant towers. And yeah, really, honestly, if you're not heading upward, you're going the wrong way. Hopefully, I can make myself sound good in the editing process because I am getting really tired all of a sudden. Come on, buddy. Got him. Oh, man, that was satisfying. Okay. So. <coughs> we're almost done here. Almost done with this stupid gate. I don't know how many we actually have to do. I think we have to do three gates. 
Magic battle. I win. I win every time, guys. There's no way I wouldn't win. Because I am the king of magic. I am an archmage. Or a master wizard. I am a badass in every physical form you can think of. I'm a wizard in real life. I know. Oh, I almost fell off the edge. I'm a wizard in real life. I can actually shoot lightning out of my hands. If that's what you want to believe. I am a master wizard. I have to get to the top of the tower. Unfortunately, we're going to be bombarded by a bunch of enemies in a second. Hopefully, my staff has enough charge on it to handle this. It doesn't, actually. That really sucks. Okay. Um, do I have anything with any charge? Kinda? I, well, I guess I have a couple. It's better than nothing. Honestly, it really is. Alright, let's see if we can get a grand soul. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, bro. Cast it on you. Cast it on you. Which, I don't have a soul gem large enough for that. That sucks. Alright, so we finally are at the Sigil Stone. <sighs> Which is good. Battle Axe of Seduction. That's not bad. That's worth a little bit. I'll take it. And I'm over encumbered. Alright, so we finally got to the Sigil Stone. And every time I defeat one of these, I jump off the ledge. Hopefully we... <sighs> Okay, we got out just in time. I have closed the gate by taking the sigil stone that anchors it within oblivion. I should tell Savian uh, Mattius that the way into Kavach is now open. Alright, so we have a sigil stone now, so let's see what it actually does. It could be really use useful, it could be worth, it could be absolutely worthless. Disintegrate armor on strike. That's actually really good and or I got a, 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 or to shield 10 all right guys <sighs> my name's hatman thank you for watching the first part of the main quest of the elder scrolls 4 oblivion if you like the video be sure to hit the like and subscribe button next time we will go and find martin and we will um take him to sa to see joffrey in hopes to save um the world from the um, the oblivion crisis i'll see you guys next time bye bye